this is Andrew with Hassle Free Home Services. I'm here to talk to you today about GFCI outlets. Now you probably have no idea what that means, most people don't, but you have them in your house and they can create a lot of nuisance for you if they're not working properly. The GFCI outlet is that outlet you'll find in your kitchen, bathroom, maybe in your garage, uh, maybe even outside that has the two little buttons on it. So here's an example of a GFCI outlet. You can see it's got a red button. If you could read it, which is very hard to do, you'd see that that button says reset. The black button down below says test. Now you may not realize it, but the GFCI outlets actually perform a very important function in your home. What they do is they protect you and your family from the risk of shock, especially in areas where water is present. That is why, as I mentioned, they're usually found in places like your kitchen, your bathroom, your garage, utility room, even at the wet bar. Uh, and certainly your outside outlets are on a GFCI uh, uh, plug. What happens is, if a scenario arises that could create a shock, the outlet will trip itself and shut off power. Not only to this outlet, but to any other outlets that are on the same circuit. So you've probably had the scenario before where you're in your bathroom, you go to plug in your hair dryer, and you've got no power. Or you're in your kitchen, and you want to plug in the blender, you know, make yourself a little uh, frozen concoction. And again, no power. When this happens, your first reaction is often to call an electrician, which lot, seems logical, but can end up costing you a lot of money for a very small and easily resolved issue. Nine times out of ten, when you get an issue with your plugs in one of these areas I've described before have no power, it's usually caused by a GFI outlet that has tripped. So let me now show you what you do in that scenario. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is take a look at all of your GFCI outlets in the affected area. If the issue is in the kitchen, chances are the outlet will be in the kitchen. If your issue is outside, there's the possibility that the outlet may be in the garage or even in the basement, so sometimes it can take a little bit of searching. Once you find the outlet that is tripped, you'll notice that the reset button is sticking out further than normal. So what that means is this outlet has been tripped. Now it's a very complicated procedure to reset it. Basically, you put, lean over and you push in the button. Now I bet once you've done that, you'll find that your blender is working, as is your hair dryer, and you can get back to business. Okay, so I talked to you about what you do when your GFCI is functioning properly. Now, in order to make sure that's the case, it's probably not a bad idea to test them on a regular basis. This is a fairly simple process that anybody can do at home. So if you come take a look, I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So the process to test your GFCI outlet is very simple. As we mentioned before, you have a test and a reset button. To test it, you simply push the test button and you'll hear a clicking sound which indicates that the outlet has shut off. And then to reset it, you simply push in the reset button. If the reset button goes in and clicks in place, then you know that your outlet is functioning properly. Okay, so you've tested your outlet and everything seems to be working properly. You're all set. However, there are a couple of scenarios where you will find that the outlet is not functioning the way you would expect. In each case, you may end up having to call a professional electrician. But before you do, we'll walk you through a couple steps you can take to troubleshoot these issues yourself. The first scenario is where you hit the reset button. It pushes in initially, but then trips again immediately. Usually this means that there is something on the circuit that's causing the break at the trip, breaker to trip. Now, the way you can troubleshoot this is by first unplugging everything else on that circuit. So if you're in the kitchen, that means unplugging the various appliances that are plugged into the outlets on your counter. Once you've done that, try resetting again and see what happens. If it still won't reset, then you probably need some professional help. The second scenario is that you push in the reset button and it won't actually push. In this case, either there's no power to the outlet or the GFCI itself has failed. The final step before you pick up the phone is to check to make sure that there's not a breaker tripped in the main electrical panel. If the breaker for that area is tripped, then the GFCI outlet will not work. Once you've confirmed that the breakers are on, the appliances are unplugged, and everything else has been checked, then if your outlet is still not working properly, it's time to call in the professionals.